what's up y'all it's me baby giraffe and i want to give y'all a few tips on being confident and certain stuff that that i feel like is necessary for you to reach that level of confidence that you want so i feel like it starts with a deep reflection of yourself of who you are things that you like what identifies you as a person what makes you you because how can you be confident about something that you don't know about you can't so if you don't know yourself that's the first step i feel figuring out what you like figuring out what you believe in figuring out what you stand up for figuring out all of that like study studying who you are as a person what things that you like and don't like and things that you want to stand up and believe in and things like that i feel like also the pressure of being perfect is very strong because we're always comparing ourselves to other people seeing what other people are doing and trying to put that on a level of what we should be doing when in all reality we're all on a different um, we're all on our own paths we're all on our own narrow fucking shit so if somebody's up here and you're like oh my god i wish i could be doing that you're not ready for that yet you have to walk up step up some steps to do and to learn what you need to learn to get up there it's a process um another thing that i like to keep in my head is that you're not under a microscope i'm looking up because i got notes right here by the way but i was always feeling like people was judging my every move like oh my god she did this she did that bitch don't nobody care that much for real for real i mean we all got people that would be watching us and be doing stuff like that but we have to realize that we are not under no microscope every little thing we do every little thing we say it's not always dissected and over overly analyzed so why should we overly analyze it that puts unnecessary negativity about yourself in your head trying to worry about what somebody else is thinking about you i hope this is making sense i don't know another thing is to stop taking yourself so seriously like it's not that serious it's not that serious you can be a joke you can make mistakes you're not perfect like you don't have to be this just judy ass bitch all the time because you want to be perceived a certain way or you don't want to make mistakes but that's a part of what makes us us that's how you learn so relax a little bit chill out loosen up your damn the Harlem Shake on the whole real quick. Like, relax. Loosen up. Do not take yourself too seriously. Life is a game, baby. Just play it. Like, we all go through stuff. And it takes a lot for somebody to be at a certain level. It takes learning from your mistakes. Looking in the mirror and being like, okay, this is how I am. These are traits that I have and I don't like them. So I want to change them. That's another step. If there's something about you that you don't like or there's a trait or you notice it's a certain thing that you do or how you react to people, if you don't like it, change it. Change it. We grow. We change every day. People become different people. You learn different stuff and it alters your mind and your thinking of how you want to react to stuff. Change it. Sit down. Study yourself. Research. Read. Learn about you and fix the things that you don't like. We can literally be what we want to be. Like, <laughs> we can be what we want to be. And I feel like another important, important thing is everybody that you have come in contact with is going to have a different version of you in their head of how they think that you are perception is literally however everybody wants to make it everybody has their own perception and this person that you met on tuesday could think that you're a nice person oh cool great but the person that you meet on wednesday you going through some shit so they got a different 
perception of you in their mind. So thinking about what people, caring about what people think about you, it's no point because everybody that you meet, everybody has different values. Everybody has different ideas. So everybody that you meet is going to view you in a different way. So caring about how people are going to see you and view you and judge you this way doesn't make sense. It doesn't because you can't please everybody. You cannot please everybody. And there's no need to even feel like you need to try to please everybody because you live for you, not the world. You live for you. And I feel like when you try to cater to people and be how people want you to be, it puts you in a box. It makes you feel like you have to put on an act to please these people. And when you're feeling like you're acting around your friends or like people in general, just random people, it's not gonna feel natural. And that's not gonna come across as confident. Confidence is walking into a room, knowing who you are, having your ideas, having this mindset of love and people around you, viewing you in whichever way that they can perceive you and being okay with that. I hope this makes sense. I hope this makes, I see why pastors and shit be like, can I get an amen? Like, I just, I hope this makes sense to y'all. I just want to say it took me a while to even get to a place where I can say that I'm confident because I was one of those people that compared myself all the time and I cared about what everybody thought about me. I still have that problem to this day, but I'm working on it. It's a part of my process. So that's why I'm still able to be the bitch that I am because I know that I'm a work in progress. I know my shortcomings because I study myself. I know where I lack in certain things and where I don't lack in certain things. And the stuff that I lack on, oh, I work on it. I work on it because I don't want anything to hold me back, especially not myself. It's so many things in this world rooted against us. And I'm talking about us. I'm gonna talk to my black girls real quick because this whole world is against us. So why should we be against us too? Why are we putting these negative thoughts about ourselves in our heads or taking it from outside opinions from people who don't matter or people who don't know you or people, just people in general? Why would we let that fill up our minds and make us push ourselves deeper down into some dirt because of an opinion, because of a person? I feel like even if somebody is telling you certain things, you can take what you want from it because deep down, you're going to know yourself. That's why I said reflection is so important, like knowing yourself, knowing who you are, because somebody could walk up to me and be like, you're rude, fucking nasty, dirty, slimy, sneaky person, and you are just a bad person me bitch I, that's in one ear out the it didn't even get in the head it didn't even go through my head bitch it went to my eardrum and went back out because that's some bullshit because i know myself that's so important that reflection and knowing who you are studying who yourself as a person your characteristics your traits that is so important to know yourself because then somebody can't just come up to you and be like bitch you dusty and you like oh Oh my god no bitch i'm just walking to the store i just need some milk or some something real quick i know i ain't dusty you just looking at me you watching for a reason you watching for a reason i really feel like that is the most you know what yep that's the most important key knowing who you are when you know who you are can't nobody tell you nothing even if you ain't shit even if you're a bad person, you know that. Somebody telling you you bad, if that's what you want to be. Somebody being like, oh, you're a bad person. You'd be like, okay, bitch, I know the sky is blue. And what's new? 
When you know yourself, can't nobody tell you anything. When you know your shortcomings and you know where you lack at, and somebody brings them up, it won't matter because you know. You're working on it. And all that stuff, it's just helping you build that up higher. You're seeing how somebody is saying these things about you. And some stuff you take in, some stuff you don't. But the stuff that you take in, don't let it just sit in your mind and make you feel bad about yourself. If you do, if this is, if something that somebody says hits you and it hurts you, it's for a reason. It's because you know it's a little bit of truth to that. So what you do is you find a way to work at it. You find a way to beat it. You find a way to alter it in a way to where it can benefit you as a person, as a whole. And that, that goes into not taking yourself too seriously because if you can't take what somebody is saying to you and find a way to flip it and make it for you, you are going to feel so stuck and so lost and just not comfortable in yourself because you don't know who you are. You have to find out. You have to... You know how you study on a damn test? You learn how to do math. Learn how to be the bitch you want to be. Learn how to be that person that you want to be. You study these things in school. It's the same thing. You're studying you. This is you 101, bitch. You got to learn who you are. Learn who you are. Because once you know who you are, can't nobody tell you who you are because you know. Somebody could say and it, it won't matter because you know who you are. Anybody can say anything. I'm gonna look at my list because I don't even know. I'm just rambling at this point. I feel that reflection this video just helped me discover that that is, to me, the number one thing about having, well, the reflection, this video just helped me realize, you know what, that's what it is. This video just helped me even realize that I think that is one of the most important steps, knowing who you are. Because when you know who you are, can't nobody tell you who you are, because you know, because you know. I feel like that's so important to study and learn who you are. Take some time. That's self-care. Fuck a fake smash, bitch. Put on the list and study. Who are you? What do you like? What do you believe in? Who are you? Who are you? If you can't tell me who you are, I'm going to tell you. And you might not like it. And watch. You're going to walk around with my thoughts of you in your head. How are you going to let me walk around? How, not even me. How are you going to let somebody walk around in your mind for free and make you feel bad about yourself? Ooh, child. No. No. Learn who you are. I'm done. I'm, oof. Learn who you are. That's so important. Wow. Shout out my mom because she used to, I feel like she used to yell at me like this. Something like that. Learn who you are as a person and then work at what you don't like and enhance what you do like. Learn about yourself and you will become more confident because you can't be confident in something that you don't know anything about. Learn who you are, learn your shortcomings, Make those, make your shortcomings something that can benefit you. Flip it around. Or goddamn, just 86 the whole thing itself. You don't like it? Stop. Learn how to stop doing it. Learn how to beat that in your own way. Take some time and really just learn who the fuck you are. It's hot. It's hot and I feel this so much. This video just helped me because even though I know this stuff, I don't always apply it 
everybody's not confident all the time. It's a process forever, forever, till we die, it's a process. <laughs> so I hope this video helps somebody because it helped me. It helped me learn some shit about trying to help y'all. So like, subscribe, comment, let me know what y'all think. And hopefully this video helps somebody because it helped me it helped me learn some stuff too and i hope that everybody who watched this knows that it's a process you can do it like it's it may be difficult it might even be really hard for some people to look inside yourself and learn who you are but you can do this if you're gonna let somebody else thoughts of you float around in your mind why not replace some of those with your own thoughts of who you are or who you want to be so like comment subscribe y'all i'm done i'll see y'all next time bye